This is Brent with Path and Tarot. And it seems like we're always coming back to uh, certain videos after a period of time. Um, h here we are. We're going to be doing some card guessing, some psychic card guessing. With the Path and Elemental deck, uh, we've got to load it up here in Orphalese Tarot. And uh, we're going to be doing some guessing. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Um, I thought I'd do this here uh, just on a whim because last night I was I was just kind of uh, you know piddling around my place you know uh, doing dishes and like chores and then just trying to think of like what I could just do to kind of entertain myself uh, for the evening and I started to do just some uh, guessing with these cards and I, w I was getting right answers more more than often so I thought oh that's kind of cool um, why don't we uh, put it to the test uh, once again um, this is sort of a continuation video uh, from the uh, I'm trying to think now it's been a while it's been like almost maybe two years a year and a bit maybe um, where I created like a, a whole suite of tests uh, where I would do card guessing play beat the devil with my uh, other playing card deck and then do tarot, tarot readings all in like one sort of chunk of activity task thing and then I recorded some other um, uh, data like like the weather and stuff and the moon patterns but that was a lot to keep track of uh, and it did produce good results I, sh I did demonstrate that I could get more guesses correct than often but it was also using a modified version of the uh, or no, the true version of the elemental deck, because that's how it was made. Um, it basically gives you about a 25% chance of getting a right answer out of the five possible guesses, um, which is not a significant boost from like the normal 20%, which is what five sets of five symbols would give you in a, in like a deck of like 25 cards, right? So this is more of like a, a, a a historical test that we're going to do right now because this is just 25 cards with just the five symbols so really it's going to be should give you about a, or give me about a 20 percent chance of getting the right answer but we're going to see what we can do i've got a little timer going here and we're going to i'm going to use the power of the sun actually see if i can get some more sun in here there we go perfect uh there you go blinded perfectly by the light so that I can try and envision what a right answer could be. And there, you know what, there's no real secret to this sort of intuition test. And in a way, I don't really know what to tell you what to do with it. It's really just like a workout for your intuition, much like you go to the gym and pump some iron and maybe make your biceps bigger, or do some leg presses and or jogging maybe right like improve your uh, stamina that way so I as far as I know right now like doing this sort of thing it's like well it's not like you're gonna have some sort of crazy psychic power but like you're gonna like prime your intuition so that you know what a, um, a positive answer is in a way so it's your you're testing your ability to feel the uh, the the tuning like when it lines up perfectly right all right so let's just focus um, yellow which is air that's not a right answer try this again. I feel like we're just going to do like five, five guesses because that's, that's good enough. And what's great is that I can use um, the Orphalese Tarot program to like do the shuffling for, for this. Otherwise, um, doing it, doing a test like this is, uh, it's very hard because uh, you, just, you have to shuffle the deck and then you have to make sure you know that you're shuffling the deck well enough so that you can prevent like sensory leak and all that stuff but uh, this is like a digital shuffle so <coughs> it's void of the uh, human um, 
interaction, um, which unfortunately poses uh, problems with uh, inconsistency. Because we're you know we're humans, like we're we're not we're not perfect at all. <laughs> mm. I've just woken up too, so this is like a really good moment for kind of collecting yourself. I've got a really great view from where I'm sitting too. <coughs> okay. Water, blue, spirit. So far, not doing very good. Last night, I don't know, that was really weird. Maybe I should try this again later in the evening. Let's see what happens. But this is probably on par for what you could expect from your, you know, performance when just waking up. All right. There's that sun right in the eyes. Fire. This is good. We're going to get like a complete goose egg. Because <coughs> usually you can get one. One right by like just sheer luck, basically, at this point. Uh, fire. Yeah, like nothing's really coming together, which is kind of cool. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. <coughs> Spirit. Ooh. See? All right. Earth. So that's that's a great example of like baseline like you can just get like you're, you're going to stumble upon one one correct answer out of uh, out of 5. So it's funny that spirit is that correct answer in a way. Cuz spirit is like encompassing. It's all the four elements to make the fifth element. But we're going to keep going because we did we did five. We'll do five more because it's been about eight, eight and a half minutes or so. All right. Earth. Ooh. So maybe there is something to the uh, complete elemental deck and ritualistic things around it, like the games and tarot reading and looking at the moon. Like uh, what I did is I recorded the moon phase, uh, something to do with the Schumann resonance, um, the weather out as well, just things like that. Something that connects this test to um, other systems, I guess, right? Okay. Fire. Ooh. Looks like the opposite.
And this is an interesting part of, like, if you were to test yourself, um, what you'd be feeling right now is, like, this sort of lost um, mixture of, uh, like, your, your, your psyche or whatever you want to call it is, like, lost in all these choices because you've got really only five choices, but they're, they can equally be any of the um, guesses. Like, you, we could get uh, multiple... Uh, cards in a row and that would be just part of how how the odds work out because this is being shuffled every time so there's no uh, you can't count the cards in a way uh, subconsciously because if you were to take a card out like that like this right we're slowly using up all the 25 cards so it means that oh, okay I've seen uh, if you were to count in your head, hey, I've got, I've already pulled out two fires. Uh, there, there be three left. So that's how you could be counting the cards that way, right? So this allows you to, it prevents you from doing that. So this is a good way of uh, testing. This is, I believe is uh, classified as a, uh, oh shoot, closed deck, where you draw. Actually, it could be it's either open or closed. I think it's closed. I have to double check. But it's been it's been many years since I did um, parapsychology research. <laughs> it seems silly to say that, but I did I did that. It was it was fun too. Uh, okay, so here we go. Spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is great, like just coming up real real zero. Not not good. I'm also not surprised too because I haven't done this for a very long time. Focus. I'm feeling spirit. Ooh. Weird how that has been my only correct answer. Strange, right? Um, this is cool because, like, this is like a live demonstration of uh, me playing with the chaotic elements of these cards uh, to show you um, how to play in card guessing in a way. Um, I've done this enough that... Um, I don't know. I've got this like weird gut, in like I've tuned my intuition, I guess. So it's it's rusty, but like I can feel it coming back. Where it's like you when you get really good at um, knowing like a whole other system of something, like like a surfer would know the the water and the waves, and um. The surfer could feel when a good wave is coming based on these other things that could be happening. It's kind of like that, where I can look at my own score and kind of just know what's going on. But this is actually keeping track of your your guesses is another element of like sensory dealing with your sensory uh, and how it in, uh, connects with your consciousness and your ability to produce these guesses too. I'm, I'm keeping track mostly just so I can do some maybe some edits or something but this is actually giving me information on my guesses but there's no way that they could um, interfere with uh, the program and its, and its ability to produce random results um, this is just like my uh, external uh, I information they, they shouldn't connect uh, in any way but the only thing that bridges the connection between what I've kept track of and the program is me, the, the, the human el 
element or in a way like my psychic intuition that's the that's the only thing you could um, uh, uh, that, that could be the case is that I'm the thing that's bridging these two things uh, okay cool that's that's a, that's a tangent um, coffee all right the other thing too is I'm actually trying to uh, provide some sort of comp commentary that is reasonably uh, interesting because this has gone on 50 minutes uh, I can't imagine someone would be like well this is really cool for 15 minutes I, you know um, I, I don't know okay so like spirit I don't know this is weird so this is the last guess uh, there, there's that sun What's the sun say? Does the sun tell me anything? Water. Ooh, earth. All right, well, that is, that's a wrap. Um, and that's exactly what we would expect um, in terms of results for card guessing uh, in this structure of deck. Uh, it's the five elements, and there's five copies of them, so you've got 25 cards in total. C. There you go, so like that, that's the whole deck. So that's it, that, that's what we were, that was what's inside of this deck. Um, Within this program, so there's just there's five, there's five of them. Five. Where's the other spirit card? There it is. Yeah, like there's only five. So one out of five is twenty percent. So really, this is like. Uh, yeah, like two, two out of ten, so twenty, twenty percent, right? That is like the historic, like baseline um, uh, for, for doing uh, card guessing of of any kind, uh, based on uh, it's like early twentieth century parapsychology uh, testing and stuff when uh, scientists were trying to figure out uh, the mind and the psychic ability, extrasensory perception (ESP). Um, so, the, so they've done all that testing to tell us to that, that can they can really safely say that you know if you're going to do a test like this with this type of deck, you can expect one right answer out of five, um, and that's been historically proven. So that's kind of cool. So really, uh, that is like. Uh, it, it's proof of the baseline, which is 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 a nice thing to see, right? Um, and then we can move on from that. This is like the first, <coughs> excuse me. This is the first series of tests in 2024. Uh, what day is it? It is January 9th, 2024, at like 11 10 59 a.m. And I set a timer, so we started at like about. Just bef just after 10:30, I think. So that's cool. Um, with the baseline, but yeah, well, I don't know what was going on last night. That was weird. I had like two guesses in a row, where um, they were both correct in a row. That that's a, that's that's um, unlikely. That's it, it, it's very unlikely. But I didn't record it, so like it's not. <coughs> There's no proof of that happening um, outside of uh, me telling you that that's what I did. But but it is true. I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, I wouldn't because there'd be no sense in that. Uh, so so there you have it. Uh, that that was it. Um, these these cards you can get right now if you wanted to. So we're gonna I'm gonna plug I'm gonna plug my ser uh, my product. Um, I've made the Path and Tarot Suite, which combines uh, this deck. Oh, let, maybe I can actually pull it right up. There you go, Path and Tarot Suite. 
it, there you go, boom. Um, it's got the elemental cards that we had used. It's also got the tarot cards in uh, playing card size, plus it also has the, the playing cards um, as well. And within the playing cards, there is like a major arcana set. So there's, so there's 22 trump cards, as they would be called um, in the French tarot structure, which is just, there you go, there's, there's one of them. <coughs> Pardon me. So you've got like two tarot decks, technically, except one of them is, uh, it looks like a playing card deck. Uh, it, it, and it is a playing card deck, but it's also called a tarot deck, technically. So you got two two decks, and then you got the elemental deck, and you can use them in lots of ways, right? You can do the <coughs> card guessing like we were doing. Um, you can use them together in uh, divination and, and games and stuff, and do tarot readings. It's it's cool. It's a great deck. Pardon me. It's it's what I use. This is this is my uh, a property to to use in videos. So it's it's like. It's you know I don't have to deal with copyright basically is the is the idea but but you can use it if you want um, uh, I've got a pretty generous uh, like like disclaimer thing that you know for for copyright stuff uh, you know uh, it's reasonable if you want to use the images you can just give me credit <laughs> is the idea because that's I borrowed that from like other other um, tarot deck creators is like use like tar tarot decks are meant to be used. So, so use them. Um, we're in a digital world now, so that's how that's how they're that's how they're used. So that's for sale. There'll be a link um, there in, in this video uh, if you if you want to check it out. And uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll be seeing you pretty soon uh, in a next uh, psychic test for ESP through card guessing. But then eventually we'll have to figure out is the is card guessing even the best way to detect. Um, the ESP, or is there a better way to do it? I don't know, but we'll figure it out in the next video.